welcome to Solar Basics. I'm Kelsey Misbrenner, Senior Editor of Solar Power World. And I'm Billy Liu, Associate Editor. The United States is a vast landmass with varying altitudes, water tables, and environments. The soils between our two ocean coasts can be sandy, soft, rocky, or clay-laden. Solar installers have to navigate the many unique soil requirements when working on ground mount projects. The five most common solar ground mounting solutions, I-beams, helical anchors, ground screws, concrete piers, and ballasts, have specific homes across the country depending on the soil. I-beams are the most common ground mount option for solar systems. They're installed using a pile driver that pushes them directly into the earth. Racking is then attached to the exposed beam. I-beams can be mounted in clay, black, and sandy soils and work best when the site is rock free. The soil's friction keeps the piles in place. Helical piles are cylindrical posts with a helix that's two or more inches wide mounted or attached near the bottom of the post. Once driven the proper depth, the helix portion of the anchor will resist being pulled out by creating a cone of soil above it. With a smaller surface area, helical piles will embed with minimal soil disturbance. Their design makes them ideal for sandy black or clay soils, as well as areas with high water tables, where piles require greater depths for embedment. Ground screws work similarly to helical piles, also creating a cone of soil that resists upward tension. The ground screw's difference in design lies in its threaded end that leads to a point much like in carpenter screws. Ground screws were built to work in rocky landscapes. The pointed threaded end is outfitted with a forged chisel tip that can push smaller rocks aside. And installers can even drill a starting hole into larger stones to rotate the ground screw directly into the ledge. Ballasted systems are a non-penetrating foundation solution for solar. Racking is attached directly to a footing block or basket and concrete is commonly used as the weight to hold it in place. The cast-in-place concrete solution is ideal for projects with low labor costs and easy access for heavy equipment. The site should be able to handle the weight of a concrete truck and requires the use of concrete pouring hoses. Another mounting method that uses concrete but requires significantly more excavation than narrower pile-driven foundations, concrete piers. These posts are suspended in holes 12 to 18 inches in diameter with a depth of 6 to 8 feet and wet concrete is poured around them. Concrete piers are suited for smaller projects, sites with corrosive or swampy soils, and installations in regions prone to hurricanes and high winds. They tend to be more expensive than the smaller drilled or driven mounts. Whether the soil is sandy, rocky, loose, dense, or corrosive, there's a marketplace of solar mounting products that are designed to fit an installer's needs on most work sites. For more on ground mount solar solutions, read our story online and stay tuned for the next Solar Basics videos.